Greetings, gearheads. This week on the show, who needs an Uber limo when you can have a luxury Jap MPV? Then we go to the school of car batteries. And finally, banish rim scuffs away for good. Well, well, second gen Toyota Alpha, but the difference is this one is officially imported by Toyota. It's a luxury people mover that is the flagship in the Toyota range, and we are going to find out if it's any good. Alrighty then. Okay, like I mentioned earlier, this is the mother of all Toyota MPVs, and this is the flagship luxury MPV in the Toyota lineup. Now, between the Alpha and the Valfire and the ones that are brought in officially by Toyota and the ones brought in by uh, the Grey Importers and all the variants available, you really can't tell the difference between what is what and which is which in terms of specs. But this is the second generation Alpha and, well, like I said, the keyword that we're looking at here is luxury. Now, how luxury? Check out the grills here. This very large train head like grill is uh, chrome and is accentuated with uh, brushed uh, metallic um, grey uh, inserts inside. So it adds dimensions to the grill. Of course, the grill is flanked by a pair of self leveling HID headlights and they look the business end of the car very, very good indeed. Now, being the flagship MPV, this car does not hide the fact that it is a massive car. It is vast and this is something we all already know. The design is continued from the first generation, complete with odd uh, B pillars and um, you know, it's a very familiar design to all of us. But then looking at an MPV, you hardly look at the outside, but more importantly, you look at what is on the inside. So let's go for a ride, shall we? Safe to say your luxury experience begins even before you get into the vehicle. By just using the humble key, you can open and close the side doors and tailgate. Talk about convenience, eh? But on to the drive. All right then, let's take this big mama for a spin. And I literally mean big mama because this car is huge. It's no wonder it's so popular amongst a lot of Malaysians out there. If you want to drive your family around in absolute comfort, absolute space, this is the car you want to get because it is literally absolutely large. We're going to talk about the interior and also the, um, the comfort aspects in a bit from the back seat and I'm not going to talk about it. I want to get somebody else to talk about it. But in the meantime, we are going to be chatting about the drivability of this car itself. Uh, again, key point is it's a massive car, so you're going to need quite a lot of grunt to actually shove this car about and to move it. Well, luckily for us, grunt is definitely there. This car comes with a 3.5 litre V6 with a DVVTI uh, and ACIS. It pushes out 275 PS and 340 Newton meters of torque. That definitely equates to a lot of ease in doing any overtaking maneuver that you could possibly want to do. Uh, this car does not leave you feeling lethargic at all and in fact it gives you quite a nice amount of shove. Imagine 275 PS man. I mean even the Toyota 86 which is a sports car have less power than that. So this car's definitely got a lot of power and that power is put to good use because it's got a lot of mass to move forward. And then you've got a six-speed uh, automatic transmission with Super ECT, which ensures your drive is smooth and creamy. Yet another good thing. Now, the suspension of this very tall vehicle has been set up so that it A, gives you ultimate comfort, but also at the same time, it reduces the tendency for this car to roll. In other words, it's actually safer to drive this car as compared to a vehicle without such a similar uh, suspension setup. 
And of course, the uh, passive safety includes ABS, uh, electronic uh, brake distribution, uh, and also VSC as uh, standard, especially for this particular model that I'm driving right now. So safety-wise, you've got it covered lah, okay? And then, when you're in a pilot area here, you can see that Toyota has put in a lot of effort in ensuring this car looks premium. You've got leather, that's a given, good quality soft battery leather as well. You've got wood grain and also some um, metallic inserts all around, which is really good. The steering is nice to hold. However, the only gripe, and this is a major gripe that I really have to point out, is that it does not come with many buttons on the steering wheel. So you do not get your, uh, your cruise control comes on a stock, but your um, audio control is not made available as a button on the steering wheel. So the only way you can control your volume is if you go straight to the head unit itself, the double din head unit, which is actually a pretty good one. But it's just that it's about three buttons away and it's three clicks away. It's a lot of work. Um, and if only, if only you had buttons here, perfect. Ah, oh, well, hello. My name is no longer Said Friday Normal, but I am Dato side and I'm here to tell you that this is possibly one of the best ways to be traveling around Kuala Lumpur when you're in the midst of business meetings and the works. You've got extreme comfort here. I've got light a plenty. It's a very roomy place to be in. In fact, this is almost as large as my apartment. It's a very, very large area to be sitting in, especially because you've got lower floors, and also a longer cabin to facilitate all this comfort. Now, if you thought that the front seats earlier was any good, now did you know that in the second row, the seats are Captain and Ottoman seats? You've got adjustments like this. I can go forward and backward. I have airline style tray for me to put my drinks and my food and also my bits and bobs here. I've got electronically adjustable seats that I can just recline. Now, people like Dato Aznil Haji Nawawi, he uses an alpha for his daily travels and I can see precisely why he would do such a thing. This is just so comfortable. And at the same time, it's also very safe. I've got seven SRS airbags in this cabin. I've got a lot of space to move my things about because the rear seats can be folded down and has a 50-50 split to ensure that I got uh, the capability to include all sorts of um, goods and luggage and well pretty much anything really. I've got dual um, sunroof front and back. I've got my very own air conditioning unit back here which I can control over there and also I've got a nano and ionizer to ensure that the air that I breathe is only of the best quality. Now why else would anybody want something other than a Toyota Alphard? I'm going to catch a kip. It's no surprise that our good Dato found it a breeze to slip into a short slumber thanks to the classy room lights and great cabin ambience. The windows also come with Toyota premium security and solar film, keeping temps down and thieves out. How's about that, man? Rain? Not a problem. No squishiness, no hesitation. Easy to drive, great to drive. Okay, so this is now what it boils down to. The utmost and the final word in luxury and comfort from the Toyota Stables, the Toyota Alpha, is now available to you via the official channels. No more worries about getting it via the grey importers. And you know what else is great? three things set this car apart from all the other competitors in the grey market. Number one, you have three years manufacturer's warranty thanks to UNW Toyota. Number two, you have well over 70 service centres ready to cater to your every single need. And number three, since you have service centres, you are guaranteed genuine parts. I think these three things is enough to alleviate any concerns that you might have buying this behemoth of a vehicle via the grey importers. Now, you've got official channels and it's all the better for the Malaysian market.